Action! Uh, mental health means to just be happy and uh, with yourself in your own head and uh, yeah. It's like your overall well-being. Um, it means be happy, being happy in general, being happy in yourself and like being happy in the way you want to at home and stuff. Um, I think it means like dealing with your emotions and being happy with yourself. It's got through your brain and, and how happy you are and everything like that. Uh, a mental state of your mental well-being. Yeah, mental health means a lot to me because like, I've known a lot of people who've uh, gone through the experience but like family members, members so it kind of means a lot to me. Um, I think mental health is like, it's like being happy in yourself and like when you wake up in the morning like you feel happy. I listen to music and um, just chill by myself for a while and just get away from everything. I'd like go to the girls and like talk to them if I needed to. Talk to people and like I would cry like I'm not afraid to tell to tell people my problems like and it helps. Yeah, I play sport and I like talking to my friends about how I feel. I play music or play sport. Usually probably playing music, listening to music, writing music, playing sport and that's like being with the lads. Um, I like listening to music and um like being my dogs or something, or like talking to my brothers. Um, I usually like go outside and pick up my Harley like. Um, this was school and uh, just teachers and oh, just being, being teenagers. Losing matches is always like a bad one for me, you know, losing like semi-finals or finals always gets me stressed and stuff. Yeah, that'll be the same now with me. Uh, Losing matches, yeah, and, or losing games, or even if it's not, if it's not a uh, competitive or anything, it still affects you. Um, the exams and schoolwork and like thinking about my future exams and stuff. Yeah, schoolwork and exams and trying to impress my parents. Mm -hmm. Like school, or I don't know, probably just. Get for a student, probably exams and kind of like if we're new to school, trying to fit in with our people. But like in other kind of aspects like probably sport, like you play a match or playing concerts. Yeah. yeah, like if you were if you had exams coming up, like you obviously It's like um you could always have to be tough kind of thing. Which uh which just isn't true at all, like 'cause it kinda of shows you're kinda of stronger if you can just talk well. Yeah, I think if boys like show how they're feeling or if they tell people how they're feeling, then they're seen as being girly. Or if they show, like, if they cry, then they're seen to be a girl. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the boys want to show their manlyhood and not show weakness and not say it to anyone. But you should. You should always talk. Yeah, like it affects everyone. Like you should talk. Like, like you just like if you're feeling like the effects of it, then talk to someone. Like, if a boy cries, he'd probably get mocked by the rest of the lads, so, like, they have to kind of act tough. Like, yeah, like, act tough around their friends so they don't look, like, weak or something. Yes, because, uh, people don't talk about it. 100%. Yeah, and I've said it's because, like, even since before, like, men are supposed to be tough and, like, you're not supposed to say what you feel because you want to, because everyone expects you to act tough, so... It's a stereotype, like. Yeah, it's a You're expected to be like that, like, but in reality, like... There's no problem with talking to your feelings because it actually makes you look stronger and tougher if you're yeah. able to say how you feel. Which means that I'm so bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> this I didn't know when to come in! Uh, what does mental health mean to you? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to take a nice hot shower. <laughs>